So when you walk down the streets, you can smell the grilled meats, the kebabs. That's one of the many delicious dishes we're going to show you in this video. <laughs> So in this video, we will take you to Central Asia in New York City. So we're here in Regal Park, Queens, which has a large Bukharan community. So you have a lot of Uzbek restaurants here and it's Bukharan Jewish community. So the food here is kosher. Don't come here on a Friday night or mostly Saturday. It will be closed for uh, Shabbat. We are at Chiborechia to eat some Uzbek food. We got our wine. Because it's BYOB. That's what we love about these Uzbek spots here in Queens and pretty much around the city. They're all BYOB. You see people coming through here, they don't play around. They come through with the big bottles of vodka and just drink all night. I love it. This is like, it's always a party in these places. We have what this place is known for it's Chiboreki. So this place is called Chiborechnia. Chiboreki, so there's actually a, a logo of a Chiboreki on the sign outside. Pretty cool. So it's a uh, it's a pastry that's fried, as you can see. It's very crispy. We got one that's the special Chiboreki, which has lamb in it. We also have Chiboreki with meat. We don't know which meat. We just got to figure that out. So let's get in here. Mm. Nice crispy outside. It takes a while to get to the filling. The filling's really concentrated at the bottom. Definitely like lamb. Juicy though. You can literally see the juices coming out of this. The beautiful thing about this ground lamb is very juicy. It has onions, and even better, it has dill. You know we love dill. Dill's an essential ingredient in Uzbek cooking. So you're gonna see it quite often. It's really good. All right, so we got here is samsi, aka samsa. Thank you. All right, so we have another baked pastry here. It's called goshkidza. So goshkidza is a similar filling to the others. It has a chopped lamb, onions. I see cumin seeds, excited already. But the shell is much lighter. It's not flaky. It's very light shell. It's also covered in sesame seeds and black sesame seeds. Let's take a bite. Mm. That's a cumin heavy filling right there. Very juicy. And what's nice is the shell is pretty sturdy. So it soaks up all those juices from the lamb. Oh, it's very tasty. So I just love how they serve these kebabs on these uh, sword-like skewers. Look at that, it's like sharp. I'm about to stab the camera right now. But, <laughs> but uh, they also just dress them very simply with some raw red onion on top. Ooh, we got more coming, yes. Mm. But try this veal liver, it looks so good. Mm -hmm. Wow. It's so juicy. You see the juice all over the plate. They just put a little salt on there. It's a liver flavor, but it's not very strong. If you are on the fence about liver, try this. This might change your mind. Wow. And there's even a little piece of fat in between on the skewer too for extra flavor. Amazing. We got hers. We got veal hearts. We love hearts. Let's give this one a try. Mm. We love hearts. Give it some love. Mm -hmm. Cooked perfectly. And again, very lightly seasoned just with some salt. The lamb ribs. I love they keep it the bone in. They ask if we want the fat. Fat is good for you, right? Wow. Unlike the others, they actually season this lamb rib. I'm wondering if it's because to lighten up the gaminess of the lamb meat. Wow, it's really good. You get to gnaw on all the cartilage, and all the, the pieces by the bone. That's what you want, all the good stuff. No meat gets left behind. All right, time for the sweet breads. No, this ain't sweet bread with sugar on it. This is the meats. This is the neck gland. It's actually the first offal I ever ate when I was a kid at Greek Easter. Mm. It's tender. It's got a very unique texture and taste to it. Wow, it's pretty lean. Man, it's hard to describe. You just gotta give sweet breads a shot. You see it on the menu, order it. Dun, 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 dun. Look at this. Uh, I got the balls to eat this one. Yep, balls. It's uh, lamb testicles. Ooh. Not rodeo though. I've eaten these many a time. Let's try it out. Mm. It's a much softer meat. The meat is actually pretty spongy. Not in a bad way, but it's got a spongy texture to it. It's interesting. 
I think the flavors of the others are better, but always drawn to have at least one of these every time we come here. Pleasant flavor though. We've eaten them many times, they're good. They got dessert. So it's cool, baklava, you might associate a lot with Greek, Middle Eastern, like Turkey, Lebanon, right? But Uzbek restaurants also sell baklava. So they have a walnut baklava, but we had to get the green baklava because it has the pistachios in it. Ooh, I never see one that's so green like this. Look, look, look how green that color is. It's so different. Mm, very different. Really not too sweet. If you know those people who you think baklava is way too sweet, this is not one of them. This is pistachio, very light. Get another Uzbek place. Of course, we're gonna get Uzbek food. This place is so cool. The tandoor is actively, currently on fire right now. <laughs> Yeah. This is gonna be some very warming, comforting food. Very excited. All right. So first up, we got the plof, which is often considered the national dish of Uzbekistan. So it's a very soulful dish. So you have all the rice here. And it's actually a bit crunchy, the rice. You have the rice, you have the meat, which is lamb in this case. You have strips of carrots, you have cumin seeds. You see cumin seeds everywhere, very excited for that. Garlic cloves here, which is really interesting. And they even have a quail egg. Excited to get into this very like, warm and comforting food for right now. Let's do it. So you have some bits of the rice that are a little crunchier, and you also have some that are more moist from the broth or from the meat, uh, lamb fat in there. You have the chickpeas, you have the carrots for a little sweetness, then you have those cumin seeds. It's not too much cumin seeds, but there are some here. Let's take a bite with that rich quail egg. You get that luscious lamb fat, and then you pair that with the quail egg. It's just very, very rich right there. So cool thing about the plaf, think of pilaf. So it's another one of these Silk Road dishes that is in numerous countries, so including Uzbekistan. So it's cool to see the different Silk Road connections of the foods here. And that's gonna lead us right into our next dish too. All right, so leading to the next one, we have the lagman, another popular Uzbek dish here. So it's a soup with hand-pulled noodles that are slightly thick. They're not wide, but they're slightly thick and chewy. And it has chunks of beef in here. It's a tomato-based broth with a lot of different vegetables. You have long beans, you have peppers, a tomato, onion, a little celery in there, sliced garlic. It looks really good. I also see a lot of dill, so let's take a sip and bite this. Very nice broth, yeah, that's a beautiful flavor, that dill, dill is what hits. Now, let's try some other noodles. The slight chew to them, nice little bounce to them. I, I love the texture of these, they go so well with the broth. Let's try a piece of beef. Beef is pretty nice and tender. Look how many vegetables in here, like this is a perfect dish for a day like today and the cold one, so. They also give you a piece of the La Pushka bread. You cook fresh in the tandoor right here, and it's nice to give it to you. can dip it right in that broth. What we like is that the bread has a really crispy bottom to it. That's because it's stuck onto the wall of the tandoor. All right, so we got the star of the show here. It's the samsa. So it's funny, when you walk in here, you see there's some samsa here at the counter, but we ordered it, and about 15 minutes later, he gave us two fresh ones, and it came fresh out of that tandoor oven that was just flaming minutes earlier. Bottom of it is really crispy. You can see because it was sitting on the wall of that tandoor oven. So let's see, let's take a look inside at the filling. We see lamb, chunks of lamb, there's onion, a little black pepper, and we see cumin seeds. So our eyes light up when we see cumin, right? Yes. Bite, bite, bite. Really rich lamb flavor. 
decent amount of cumin seeds, a slight saltiness, onion, but the outside, the skin of it is really thin. So it's not like the flakier versions that you might see. This is more, it's lighter. It feels lighter. It's really good, really fresh. Definitely recommend these some stuff. On the side, they also give you a red sauce. Uh, let's put some on the samsa. Give it a shot. The sauce has a tomato flavor, a little vinegar, a slight spiciness too. I see a couple seeds in there. So it's nice. It does add, cuts through the richness a little bit when you add it for that acidic flavor. It's good. Things that we really want to get when we get, get, got here, they said they ran out of it. But, ta da da da! But, but it's here. Got a whole batch of them fresh, so I'm excited. It's called Betchak. So, what it is, is a samsa that's stuffed with pumpkin. out there watching yes there is an option for you we eat a lot of meat but here's your option right here and it's a delicious option shape is more triangular shape it's covered it's topped with sesame seeds so let's take a bite the filling's already tripping out of it mm. oh, that's good. It's got a real sweetness to it too. I like that. Very earthy. It's got some onions as well. All these have onions in them. A really nice sweet flavor. You don't expect that at first. Wow, it's really good. Change of pace completely. They're so good, they're so light, very fresh. Yeah, this. How, how did you make that here? <laughs> That's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Yeah. It's very good cooking. Yeah. But a surprise we have in here. We were about to leave the place, we were done with our food, and, what, and the owner, I think, stopped Greg and told him to sit down because in three minutes there's fresh samsa coming out of the tandoor. That is so cool. Oh, yeah. It's me. <laughs> We're here at Taste of Samarkand. Samarkand is a city in Uzbekistan, one of the oldest city in the world. A beautiful place that we really want to go someday. It's so pretty in here and I can't wait to eat. Their wait staff is dressed in traditional clothes. Alright, so we're starting off with a Korean mixed vegetable platter, which is really interesting because there is a Korean community over the years in Central Asia and Russia, so that's why we have this influence. You see the cabbage here, it's kind of like a kimchi. We have uh, beets, and we also have more kofcha, which is a spicy carrot salad. So we're gonna try all these out. I'm excited. Let's try some of this more kofcha first. Mmm, it's a very crisp. You have a lot of herbs in here. It's got a little oil slick on there, a little tangy. Mm. Very tasty. Now let's try cabbage. It smells a little like kimchi, but not as funky. Let's see. Oh, it's got a kick. So it doesn't really have that fishy kimchi flavor. It's not as fermented taste, but it has a nice kick to it and still pickled. So it's nice. It is definitely different than kimchi might be used to, but quite tasty nonetheless. Now let's try the beets. Beets are nice and crisp, a little tangy, and slight sweetness to them too. Also good. This is definitely a plate. If you want to get your veggies in, vegetarian, this is a dish. Right, so we also got a traditional Uzbek soup called Sherpa. So it is uh, it has beef, a lot of different vegetables in here. There's potato, there's carrots, there is chickpeas, and there's a lot of dill in here, which we're really excited about. It's a cold day outside. Let's try some of this. Mm. That dill really shines through right away. 
beef looks very tender. I was able to just cut it with a spoon. The broth's pretty simple. It's not a hefty broth, not overly beefy. So it really lets the actual ingredients of like the vegetables and the beef shine in and that dill. That dill is really the star of the soup. Yeah, so the beautiful thing about Uzbek cuisine, they do have Monty, which are dumplings. So you can find Monty also in Turkey, Afghanistan, other countries in the Middle East and Central Asia. So let's give theirs a shot. Theirs is filled with beef, lamb, onions, and it's also topped with dill, which we're also happy about. I see so much dill here, this is great. Mm. It's a mixture of beef and lamb. You definitely get more of that lamb flavor. It's a stronger flavor. And the skin of it is quite delicate. But love the dill once again. If you're a big fan of dill like we are, you will love it. And it's a little bit of a uh, sauce on top too. Really nice. This thing is all the VIOB.